Welcome to this test and information sharing video with me, Mr. CDP. What's this all about then, you might be asking? Well, this is about seed treatment. Uh, the seed treatment auger, the uh, FX Seed Treater, part of the AGI pack by Giants. Now, this came out a while ago, the AGI pack, and I have used it on various different Let's Plays. Generally, if I've got some crop, I would run it through. I've done a bit of wheat sometimes, sometimes some barley. I found oats was a very good one for doing it. Now, you may not have used this before. You may be new to the game. Um, you may know all about it. There may be something in here you can glean from it. We'll talk about all different aspects of this. This was after a conversation with one of my subscribers, JR, who's recently got back into playing Farming Simulator. Hadn't played FS22 since it had come out. Has been asking me a lot of questions, talking about seed and buying seed and producing seed and I mentioned the seed treatment auger he sent me a message saying he'd put a particular crop through and it had yielded way more than I thought because generally speaking your input of whatever crop it may be and I'm going to be testing the standard in-game crop types I'm not doing crops that are on maps that have specialist crops or flax or lentil anything unusual this is the standard wheat barley oat canola sorghum sunflower soybean and corn so generally you put your seed in, you've got seed treatment that comes as part of the AGI pack, and then what comes out can range anywhere from a one-to-one -one ratio up to, I think oats, well I say up to, I don't know, that's what I'm going to be testing it for. Oats I was getting over double, so I was getting twice the amount of seed for what I was putting in. Now there are some other questions to ask. Now I'm going to be looking literally at, in this, a litre for litre comparison. A thousand litres in will give us what out kind of thing. There are other parameters to take into consideration, which we'll talk about as we go along or later on. Uh, there are also lots of other mods available in the Mod Hub for producing your own seed. There are plenty of mods available for buying, just buying direct seed, multi, uh, uh, multi fruit purchase points, um, seed buy points. Um, there are facilities that you can put crops in or certain things in and get seed out through different processes. I'm looking at the seed treatment. Now in the real world, what does this do? Well, the seed treatment can be pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, um, water retainers as well. And what is usually done is through a process, it, the seeds are coated. Those coatings can just be a very light dusting, a very, very thin coating up to a very thick, almost a crust, with the resultant things being resistance against certain pests against certain crop diseases um, it can add fertilizers and slow release fertilizers to put nitrogen into the ground around the seed and the water retainers brings water from around the seed in and holds it around the seed allowing it to grow not everyone does this but this is what we're going to be looking at so i've got eight crops eight seed uh, treater fx um augers Eight pallets of seed treatment and eight trailers. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the seed in. I've got 5,000 litres of each in these trailers. Because I thought if I keep them all the same, keep it all fairly standard, I could fill the trailer up and it would be 18,500 litres and it would get a little bit messy. And potentially if you get a double out, I could more than fill the trailers I've got behind. So I thought we'll stick with 5,000. It keeps it nice and straightforward. I've got them on grain. Oh, sorry, grain door. What I'm going to do is jump in here. We'll turn this on. Uh, unload here. We'll put that on. So it should now run straight through and out the back. So what should happen now, if I overload my wheat, we'll go into there, and it comes out the other end as seed. Now it can require... That's better. Mess cleaned up. Just needed the auger to be a little bit higher up. As you can see, the wheels are off the floor. The auger doesn't actually raise very high on these, but we are now getting it going. That is now empty. All 5,000 litres is in or has already been run through. So there's a load run through. The last little bit's gone in. That will gradually work its way down. The seed treatment will automate. If you put the pallet right next to it, it automatically takes it. You haven't got to do anything there. So as it's using the seed treatment, it will gradually take more. You can just use one pallet, I think there's 280 litres on here, and it holds 50 litres at a time, so you can have multiple ones of these running, or just have one, put it to one side, as it needs filling, just bring it back if you want to, or you can just leave it there, This is what I normally do. So what we'll do, we'll let that carry on running, until it runs out, I'm going to now switch over, I'm going to get this one going, 
So what I'm probably going to have to do is try and get a run up on that and try and get that a little bit higher up. And I'll back the trailers up a little bit closer. As you can see, the seed's still going into that one. And let's unload our barley in. Start getting that going. Yeah, that's going to need the trailer back up a little bit. For some reason, I think these trailers, the Fliegels I've chosen, you can have it as this, or you can have it as a, a, a muck spreader on the back, or fertilizer spreader. So it could be that back section is just not liking it for some reason. It's just the way I've set them up. Right, now as far as I can tell, we can get our results now, first one, straight away. That's now empty, that's done. We'll jump in there, nothing left to come out of there. So let's have a look. That's doubled. We had 5,000 litres of seed in that end, we put it through and we've got twice the amount of seed out. So our wheat has doubled. That's impressive already, happy with that. So our wheat's 10,000 litres. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to run through all of them. I'm going to put them all through. What I'll do is I'll just disconnect that. See if we can back this up a little bit so we can get that seed flowing. Well, there we go. Just needed that little bit of a shove. So that's the barley going. Let's turn that one on. So the only parameter that's different is with the crop going in. The trailers are the same. The amount of, of crop going in is exactly the same. The augers are the same. Seed treatments are identical trailers on the other end are identical the only difference is going to be the seed and then we'll see what each one gives us i will talk about those extra things i said about that are things to take into consideration like i say this test is literally just the 1000 liters in to what out or 5000 liters in to what out um, to see kind of what our ratios are and which one gives us the best bang for your well the best seed out because bang for your buck will change depending on your crop because different crops yield differently so for example some like soybean doesn't yield as well as wheat or barley it's worth more now we may get more i know we all from oats we'll get more from oats or well, at least we have done before when i've done it historically but what you've got also way up is well, you might get less for something like wheat for crop in and seed out Wheat, wheat is worth less so if you're going to use something like soybean sunflower which is worth more you're using a more expensive crop to produce your seed we may find we get better we get more out way more out but that's something you might have to factor in looking further down the line so yeah so what i'll do i'll switch over because that's going to be fling actually probably now it's taking two refills for each one and I'll see in a little while, once they're all done, all transferred over, and let's see which crop is best for seed treatment. That's it, all crops are run through. It's time for the results. We know the wheat already, is 10,000, so we doubled. From crop input to seed output, it doubled. That's pretty good, we like that. Barley then, 9,270 litres, so a little bit less than double, 
not quite as good as the wheat not far off next up we've got our oats 15,610 that tripled from our 5,000 into over 15,000 now so that's triple now that's the one I've found because I haven't used all of these crops through the seed treatment I think oats was one of the ones I did in Western Wilds. I had, I had some oats left over. I didn't have any horses. I thought, oh, I'll just run it through the seed treatment and found it was it was a really, really good one to do, but hadn't done all of them. And like I say, this comes off the back of a conversation with JR who mentioned a crop and I suddenly thought, oh, hang on a minute. So that's our oats. That is our current, that's our current favourite. Next, we've got a canola. 15,340. Again, over triple. Not quite as good as the oak, but not far off for our canola. Next up, we have got our sorghum. 10,850. So that comes in the same category as the wheat and barley, really. Doubled, just over double. A little bit better than the wheat. And, yeah, and better than the barley as well, actually. 10,850. That's not bad. We like that. Next up, we have got our sunflower, 17,110. That's the new highest. So that's over triple by a couple of thousand litres. That's pretty good, sunflower. Next up, we've got our soybean. Oh, 19,770. That's nearly quadruple, four times. So 5,000 in to nearly 20,000 litres out. Soybean. A winner, winner, chicken. Well, I say that. Let's check on the corn, shall we? 9,670. So that's second lowest. Barley was the lowest at 9,270. So 9,670. So I suppose that again. This is what we've got to look at. That's our results. Soybean for the win. Four times as much. Second place, sunflower at 17,000 litres. And then we had a couple at 15,000. Our oats at 15,610 and our canola at 15,340. So what you've got to then look at. Like I say, that's the test over. For all intents and purposes, that, that, we're done. That's our results. Litres in, seed out. That's our result. But that factor we've got to look at, our prices. Because our wheat and our barley were down there. Oat was very good. But oh, it's worth more. It doesn't yield as well as these two. And it is worth more. Uh, the canola came in at 15,340, so just behind the oats. But again, it's worth more than the oats are. Sorghum was at double, just over double. And that's worth more than wheat. So if you were going to put a crop through at that level, I would go with wheat over sorghum, because sorghum's worth more to sell than the wheat is, well, at the moment, anyway. Um, and again, it depends. You might get a great demand. So like sunflower, sunflower's worth good money. Sunflower yielded at 17,110. So well over triple, but it's worth a fair amount of money. Soybean, four times as much. But again, depending on where you're selling it to, it's worth a fair bit. And depending on the map you're on, sunflower and soybean can be almost there price-wise. And then corn yields very well. Price is a little bit lower, but that puts in the same kind of bracket as uh, I suppose barley and wheat really, but yields a little bit less. So it's a toss up. We we know we know now which one's gonna give us the most seed for crop input. That's soybean, hands down, with sunflower in second place. But do you want to use an expensive crop to create your seed, or would you rather use a cheaper crop? Something like wheat, that can be fairly abundant, still producing your seed, just not to the same level. That's your decision to make based upon the results. I'm producing... <laughs> I mean, I can't be any fairer than that, can I? Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. I know I have. I, I, was, I was based off of oats all the time, because I found that oats worked really well, but now I know soybean. And you might have some soybean knocking around, you might have some left over, you, you know, you might do harvest contracts. I mean, that's another great way of getting stuff. You haven't had to, re had to put any inputs in. If you do harvest contracts, you complete the contract and you've got some crop left over. Was it for a seed treatment if you want to? But there you go. Um, if you have, 
please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.